The Ford government has tabled legislation to crack down on puppy mills. For the first time in this province, it would bring some control to a sector that has gone unchecked. But some advocates City News spoke with say the proposed law doesn't go far enough. The operation of puppy mills is prohibitive. Solicitor General Michael Kersner says this will be the reality if the Preventing Unethical Puppy Sales Act is passed. The Pups Act would cap the number of times a female dog can be bred, ban breeding under a year old, and stop the separation of puppies from mothers before eight weeks. Officials add there would be new rules for separating dogs with contagious diseases and keeping sanitary environments. If convicted of operating a puppy mill, a new minimum $10,000 fine. The law still needs to work its way through Queen's Park. We're encouraged that the government introduced it in the first place. It shows that they are sensitive to the fact that people are demanding change. Camille Labchuk is a lawyer who heads up the advocacy group Animal Justice. She says her organization wasn't consulted ahead of the bill's release. Labchuk says the proposed law alone won't stop puppy mills. They do not require any licensing or registration, so puppy mills operate in the dark, in barns, in basements, without government oversight. And that's the case almost universally in the country. She says proactive checks by government inspectors and stronger breeding and care standards are required. We see all the time sick and diseased dogs being sold to people who then have the heartbreaking experience of watching their new puppy die of a disease. Jennifer Bloom at the Ontario SPCA has been in animal welfare for more than 20 years. She describes what she and others have seen. Puppy mills are substandard, unsanitary living conditions, poor grooming, inadequate medical care. Dogs are often bred repeatedly and puppies are often weaned early from mums. Bloom calls the Pups Act a key first step. She says they hope upcoming regulations will address gaps. What we're looking to bring forward are clear standards that will ensure the, the improved welfare. Labchuk and Bloom encourage people who want to get a dog to adopt from a shelter or a charitable society, but if choosing a dog through a breeder, this advice. You should always make sure that you can see the mother and the father. Online is really a red flag. Ask to see a kennel license. Ask to see veterinary records. Make sure that you're asking questions. Any reputable person who's looking to rehome an animal is going to usually have more questions for you than you have for them. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.